like so, okay. Please a round of applause for him one more time. Thank you very much. And all these businessmen who brings in businesses will come through the ports. And we have a Shippers Council, we have Nigerian Ports Authority here at this occasion. The Shippers Council in particular, Mr. President, uh, with the Executive Secretary, with the commitment he has made, Hassan Bello, he has said he can actually, needed, given the needed support, he will raise substantial revenue for the federal government of Nigeria. In anticipation, let's please put our hands together for Shippers Council. Thank you so much. Mr. President, your Excellency is very distinguished, ladies and gentlemen. The person I'm going to bring up to the podium next is someone who needs no introduction. He's a man of proven integrity, a former minister of petroleum, yet he has no oil rig nor a filling station. A former head of state, and rather than amassing wealth, he re-engineered our economy. Upon retirement, he lived on his pension, and as chairman of a petroleum trust fund, he refused deliberately to be paid salaries. In his words, he said, it is not necessary for me to take salary from a country that is already paying him pensions. The man, the man with zero tolerance for corruption, and as a result of his anti-corruption stance, the mere mention of his name sends jitters to the spine of corrupt public officers. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege at this juncture to invite the number one citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the special guest of honor at this event, your president, my president, our president, His Excellency, President Mohammed Buhari, GCFR, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A standing ovation with a loud applause for him as he declares his summit for the Excellency, Mr. President. Please sit down. Uh, Your Excellency, the Governor of Kaduna State, and our host, Right Honorable Aminu Bella Masari, Your Excellencies, the Governors Fukano, Kepi, Sokoto, Zampara, Lagos, and Maradi from Niger Republic, members of National Assembly. Honorable Ministers and members of the Federal Executive Council, Deputy Governor of Kaduna State and Speaker of Kaduna State House of Assembly, the Governor of Central Bank, and other top government functionaries here present, the Emirs of Kaduna and Daura, and other royal fathers, captains of industry, led by Al Haji Aleko. Angote, Pastor Tunde Bakari, and other religious leaders here are present, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those who have forgotten, uh, we stood election uh, in the fourth attempts I made to arrive here. One of the attempts we did it was Tunde Bakari. Um, when people said I'm a religious bigot, I decided to take a, a, a pastor so that I can shut their mouths up. <laughs> so Tunde Bakare has decided to be with me all the time. I was not expecting him to be here, but yesterday I think he borrowed a plane from somewhere and he arrived here. <laughs> it is good to be home. The Kaduna State people and government wish to embark on a journey. It is a long, tough, but a highly rewarding journey. But there is an old African proverb which says, I quote, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together, unquote. I suspect this wise saying must have informed the Kaduna State Government decision in convening 
this summit. Obviously, Kazakhstan state government and people are on a momentous journey. But this is one journey they must have realized they cannot undertake alone. That is why they invited the international business community to join them. It is a journey into a spectacular transformation through people and resource mobilization and optimization. There will be a steep learning curve to master and initially at least the terrain will be extremely, exceedingly challenging. Despite initial doubts, I quote, can this happen? Unquote. The spectacle of international quoted companies, regulators, leaders of industries assembled here today should make your effort not only that much more rewarding outcomes more promising, but the destination rich faster and easier. The road will be that much more inclusive and sustainable. His Excellency, the Kazan State Governor, has indicated in his speech that the overall objective of this summit is to stimulate local investment and attract foreign direct investment to the manufacturing sector, including agribusiness, solid minerals, power, hospitality industry, and other services. Creatively and purposefully applied, this should help to bridge gaps in capital, management skills, and technology where they are most severe and support the competences of local companies and the workforce towards world standards. This would enable both local and foreign manufacturers and services companies alike to stand with the best in services local and global markets. Most important of all, this could lead to hundreds of thousands of our people getting employment. Employment is the quickest way to escape poverty. And we must, we must to fill our people out of poverty. But for this laudable transformation to occur, every player must do his best, including the federal government, but in particular, the people and government of Kazan State. For global players, some of whom I am pleased to see represented here, to take the deep plunge, they must be offered attractive incentives. The Kazan State government appears to make I can't refuse the offer to investors through a liberal set of tax incentives, infrastructural support, faster and shorter government responses to business requests. These generous offers, these generous offers are the minimum required to attract the critical investor who is quoted in every country and region of the world. For states to attract and hold world class and best among peers investors to their states, they would have to make compelling offers. I feel Kazan State has started well. <laughs> At the presidential primary last year, I promised that, and I quote, I will bring all resources to end poverty through ending corruption broadly shared economic growth, investing in our country, and creating jobs." Unquote. I hold my, myself to these promises. It is, it is in this context that today's summit takes on an additional significance. All progressive Congress government of my home state has strongly embraced this vision by assembling the world to be part of this summit. As I said, federal government alone cannot deliver on the high expectations of our people. Katana state government and people have shown the way by assembling the brightest and best from the business world, the brightest and the best from the development partner community, the best and the bright from MDAs and regulatory bodies. Kazan State is doing its part. 
And yet, economic progress must be tailored to environmentally safe and sustainable programs. We should also keep an eye on the rights of the future generation who are as entitled as we are to the heritage of Nigeria. In this regard, the federal government shall work with the state government and people in rationalizing our actions to avoid overlaps or discontinuities or environmental damage. The federal government will partner with any state government that shows promising initiatives underpinned by workable strategies, such as demonstrated by the Kaduna state government with today's kickoff. The private sector should be the engine of economic growth. It should be the largest investor in the economy. It should be the quickest, most efficient, and sustainable path to industrialization. By the same token, the state government should seek to work closely with the private sector, each bringing to the table its competences for successes to be achieved. I started with an old African proverb. Let me end with the Chinese philosopher Lewis 604 to 531 BC proverb, and I quote, a journey of a thousand miles begin with the first step, unquote. The Katana state government and her people have taken the first step. I look forward to the first thousand miles. Your Excellencies, Your Highnesses, it is my pleasure to declare the Katana state economic and investments open. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And just before we take the closing remark to bring this opening ceremony to an end, I'd like to pass this information that will be of interest to the convener governor. We have uh, Mr. John G. Kumantaros, the chairman, Flour Mills of Nigeria PLC, who flew in from New York this morning alongside Atinko Dangote to be part of this. I'm sure you're thoroughly excited about this. Can we join our hands in welcoming him? Your Excellency, you're not going to be here when certificates will be presented. And so there are three flags that will be presented to a few members who will be leaving right away. I'd like to invite His Excellency, the Convener Governor, to do us the honor of presenting first to Mr. President, then to Aliko Dongote and Mr. Eric Omefia. They'll be assisted by the Chairman of the Organizing Committee. Let's do that quickly. Thank you very much. It's our way of saying thank you for your support and thank you for finding time to be here with us this morning. It presents first to Mr. President.